Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. By now you're probably wondering why I have a white beetle here and not a black beetle. Uh, the reality is the black beetle project was just getting way too expensive um, and needed way too much work um, after expenses to, to finish it off with $7,500 roughly for metal, getting it to a paint quality finish, uh, probably five to $7,000 for paint gaskets, seals, screws, uh, just goes on and on. The interior, needs an interior is $5,000. Um, you know, probably another 100 hours, 200 hours of just bolting everything together, you know, getting it all running and uh, road testing it and making, you know, get all the bugs out of it kind of thing. So the reality is that car was gonna start getting really expensive, really expensive. And the smart thing to do was take that great engine and transmission that we had from the chassis, which is here behind me, um, and put all that good stuff into a new car. So the search was, was on quite recently for a donor car. We thought the best thing to do was to get a car that had been restored, um, mostly original, a good solid seven and a half or eight out of 10 car kind of thing. Uh, and, and then put the new motor and drivetrain in it and maybe change the brakes out, you know, basically make it like a little, a little hot rod, uh, on a really solid chassis and a really solid body. Um, so we found one that came up. So it was picked up uh, last week. That'd be first week of September. Um, and we brought it here and we started disassembling it, found a couple surprises, nothing too major. And we decided it would be a good donor car to switch all that stuff into. So the black car has been sold. Uh, all the components of it have been sold, fenders and doors and whatnot. And uh, behind me is the uh, 1300 out of this car here uh, and the transmission out of that car, which does work, it does drive. Uh, it actually shifts really well. And it had been rebuilt about uh, 10,000 miles ago. So it's a good little solid motor for someone. So it's getting sold as well, as well as that chassis that we spent so much time uh, fixing and, and reworking. But that's okay. Uh, this one here has got a pretty good chassis in it too. Um, you know, by the time we get the motor in it, get it running, it'll be about another week or so. And filming that as we go, it's a lot quicker project, of course. But yeah, we'll get this thing going. And uh, hopefully in about a week or so, we'll have uh, that new Beetle uh, all up and running. And uh, yeah, maybe get a couple of rides in before the end of the uh, summer season. Anyways, that's what's going on here, guys. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. Check the mic and make sure it sounds right, boys. Okay, I found a couple of areas that uh, need a little attention. These areas always are bad in these cars. It's just a whole bunch of metal that gets uh, sort of, hang on here. It gets pinched together and it just, it's just a hot spot for, for rust. Probably a good time to do the brakes too. Uh, here we got some oil cooled brakes, which are uh, which are less than safe. This side here doesn't look a whole lot better. Yeah, so it's a good thing we're doing brakes on it too. They look like they're new backers, uh, but you know what? Until you've had a good hard look at it, it's hard to tell. Got new lines. It could just be the seals are shot. So that's most likely the, the culprit. There's these things here actually have they contain oil in them. Uh, this one here is actually leaking a little bit. So yeah. Anyways, we'll get a hold of all that, change up the brakes. Might even switch this thing over to discs in the back. It's uh, way nicer for stopping power. Four wheel drums are, uh, are not where it's at. So I got the brake drum off on the driver's side. So what I found here, which was uh, not surprising given the amount of um, oil that was underneath there, it looks like either 
the brake cylinder itself is leaking um, or this seal here is leaking and it's really it's I, I have I have a suspicion it's brake fluid just because of the way it's bubbling all the stuff up um, oil wouldn't do that but but hydraulic fluid that you get in the brake system would so um, another thing I did was when I put the drum off this drum here I took two bolts off and put this hunk of metal in here to act as an anchor for it because for anybody who's taking these things off before you know that this nut is cranked to around 250 foot pounds I think I'm not sure the exact um, uh, setting is on it but it is tighter than all get out and this is the wrench you have to use to take it off and the amount of torque required in that it was my breaker bar plus about four feet of pipe and then you just turn the thing off but it's on there tremendously tight so um, I'm sure there's another way of getting it off it's probably a proper tool for it but I don't have that tool so this one works just fine for me so off to the other side now This is what I use to uh, get the engine out. Use this combination of this and the hoist. Uh, works really well. Nice big base for it to sit on. So all you do is just lower it down and there you go. Anyways, that's what we did. So here's what the engine compartment looks like. It's pretty clean. Um, I'm gonna say this bearing actually looks pretty good too. That's all in good shape. Nothing's moving around too much. So all in all, I think we're in good shape. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. That was uh, quite the power pack day. We got uh, engine transmission out of this guy. Uh, I found a little bit of rust we're going to work on tomorrow. Uh, just a couple of the usual spots up in the um, uh, up in the back, up in here. Yeah, there's two spots uh, two spots on on the passenger side. So we'll get after that tomorrow. That shouldn't be too bad. Uh, they're not terribly big areas, and they're undercover, and they're covered by gravel guards. So I'm just going to cut out a piece, stick a piece in there, treat it on the inside. Um, 
hit it with some primer and then that, that'd be it and hit it with some uh, undercoating. The car's never gonna be in the rain again, so it's not a big deal. Just another spot up by the front there, uh, the front of the wheel well on the back side here, we're gonna also have a look at. But uh, other than that, it's pretty good. The uh, garage is pretty packed right now. We got uh, everything in here. So uh, the plan is going to unload a bunch of this Volkswagen junk and then um, get this uh, little little beige beauty out of here. And then uh, it'll be Project Porsche.